Okay, welcome. Welcome once again to another video from LinuxHint.com YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are going to talk about Emacs Lisp. So Emacs Lisp is a dialect of the Lisp programming language used as scripting language by Emacs Text Editor. Okay, so it is used for implementing most of the editing functionality built into the Emacs. And uh, Emacs is also uh, called as eLisp, although there is an older unrelated Lisp dialect with that name is available as well. So the users of Emacs commonly write Emacs Lisp code to customize and extend Emacs. Okay. So the other options include the customized feature that's been in GNU Emacs since version 20. So this version, I think it's 24 point something. All right. So it's self written in Emacs Lisp. Customize provides a set of preference pages, um, allowing the user to set options and preview their effect in running Emacs session. Okay. So when the user saves their changes, Customize simply writes the necessary Emacs Lisp code to the user's configuration file, which can be set to special file that only customize uses to avoid the possibility of altering the user's own file okay so emacs lisp can also function as a scripting language much like unix porn shell or Perl language um, by calling emacs in batch mode uh, you it, it performs as a scripting language okay so in this way it may be called from the command line or via an executable file and its editing functions um, such as buffers and movement commands are available to the program just as in the normal mode. So we're going to talk about, about commands in upcoming video as well. So the idea is that no user interface is presented when Emacs is started in batch mode. All right. So it simply executes the past in script and exits displaying any output from the script. Okay. So now let's jump into the Emacs and let's see, let's try to do some practical stuff um that we have talked about okay so first of all uh in order to start the buffering zone where you can actually work with lisp what you have to do is that you have to press ctrl x and then b okay so when you press ctrl x and then b it would show you something like this okay so let me just uh write in a text editor separately uh so that uh, you could identify that what I have pressed. So I have pressed Control plus X and then I have pressed B. Okay. So after pressing it, you would see something like this switch to buffer. Okay. So now what you've got to do that you have to hit enter. So when I hit enter, so now I have entered this kind of window where you see if, if you're familiar with Lisp, uh, you can tell that these two lines are the comments okay so whenever you're going to write a comment you you need to put two semicolons and then you basically start writing uh, whatever the comment is okay so the idea is that uh, in here uh, you can perform different kind of uh, functions uh, functionalities so uh, the first example that we're gonna do is this one so let's say that if we want to solve uh, some kind of arithmetic uh, problem okay so let's say um, we want to write here uh, something like this and inside this uh, parenthesis we write here plus which is a function and then we give the arguments let's say nine and then we give an argument as two okay so now you can see that uh, anybody could tell that nine plus two is eleven so the idea is that you you do not write uh, plus between 9 and 2 because then it would consider 9 as an operator or as a function and it would consider plus as a digit which is not possible because that is the syntax in which you basically write so that is our basically a first small uh, lisp program you can say so in order to run this program what you have to do you have to press ctrl x and then ctrl e okay you press that and then you can see here we have the result which is 11 okay so let me just control x and control e again you can see here we have 11 on the output 
so you can give basically th three arguments as well so if you write here four okay so now if you press ctrl x and ctrl e you can see that this is the result right here so one more thing uh, if you if your cursor is like here so now if you press ctrl x ctrl e it would give you this two on the output okay so make sure um, that your cursor is at the end of this entire function because in that case it is going to um, basically uh, call this function and run this function okay so let's say uh, if we want to do the subtraction then we do the same thing we come out of it we press ctrl x and e you can see that 9 minus 2 is 7 okay uh, you can also do the multiplication here uh, so you can see that we have 18 on the output okay so 9 multiplied by 2 is uh, basically 18 so if we remove this as well and if we put here this sign this means division and if now if i do control x control e it would give us something like 4 so it would not give us 4.5 which is the exact answer because it gives you the result in integer okay so you can also take the uh, modulus by putting in the percentage sign so after putting in the percentage sign now if we run control x control e you can see that basically it gives us one which is the mod which is the remainder basically okay so this is how you perform the arithmetic functions so there is another uh, thing that you can do as well basically if you want to print something like hello world then in that case what you've got to do uh, let me just comment here uh, print function and uh, if you want to print something then you just have to write here um, you know brackets and inside of the brackets you have to write here uh, message and then inside the double quotes you're gonna write here hello world okay so now basically if you come here outside the function control x control e you can see here we have this hello world right here okay so let's say if you want to print out some sort of um, variable value so in that case so in order to print integer or numbers uh, variables you can do something like this control x control e you can see that it has printed out number is 16 okay so the variable is outside uh, and inside we have used percentage d for that so if you are familiar with the c language uh, then you must be familiar with this thing as well so if you want to work with the string so you just have to write here percentage s and um, you can just write here name is or string is and in here you can uh, write down any string variable or a string uh, a literal string so you can see that we have linux and string here so if i now can do control x control e i can see here name is linux hint okay so yeah that is pretty much it that's how you work with lisp uh, there is another small example that you can do as well and that is basically uh, if you want to list any of the lisp expression then in that case what you have got to do is that you can do here like my list is in that case you are just going to put um you know the capital s okay instead of small s so right and then you just write here the list so you write parenthesis and inside those parentheses you're gonna write your list um, then you write here eight three four okay so now if we come out of here and we do control x control e you can see that we have the list which is essentially eight three four so like this you can have multiple uh you know lists as well okay so yeah that's pretty much it and uh before going i'd like to show you another example a small example so let's say if we want to get rid of this toolbar mode so we can get rid of this toolbar mode by using um you know lisp uh, language in the emacs as well so we write here tool bar mode and if we do control x control e you can see that the toolbar um, has now gone okay 
so in the same way you can uh, make this menu bar go away as well you just have to type in here menu uh, and it will go away okay so yeah that's it from this video of elisp i hope you have enjoyed it you have learned something new for written articles you can keep visiting our website linuxin.com and for uh, further uh, free courses and for free stuff for free videos uh, stay tuned on this channel and subscribe to this channel please thank you very much